Today I wanted to make a video about laptops and when you purchase a laptop there's a lot of choices out there. There's a spectrum of choices and but they usually fall into certain categories. You have your ultrabooks, your um, everyday PC, your netbook 2-in-1s or your gaming laptops and uh, this video was not going to cover desktops because desktops is a different conversation uh, because it's so customizable. When you have a desktop, if you can purchase a desktop, you know, people will just purchase a desktop because they don't really, um, mobility isn't a big deal, it's not a point, and they want to just put the stuff that they need into a box. Whereas when you buy a laptop, you're looking for mobility. Uh, I know I'm looking for mobility when I'm looking for a laptop. And so today I want to cover uh, two categories. For one, it is the Ultrabook. I recently reviewed this, it's called the UX305CA. It is the 13.3 inch Ultrabook. It's pretty light, it's under two pounds, it feels light. And it's, I used to have a MacBook Air and it's pretty much the same thing, but Windows. And we have the, G74SX by ASUS. It is about four years old. I've uh, kept it in pretty good condition, I would say. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, there's no scratches or anything. I've kept it in pretty good condition. And I think this is still relevant because the, even today's gaming laptops have a very similar form factor. This is a 17 inch uh, gaming laptop. As you can see, it's really big. And uh, I think it's still relevant because it, even the new Acer Predator, the Asus G701, I mean, they all have this very similar form factor, so I still want to, um, I still think it's relevant. And two major differences also out, off the bat is, here's the Ultrabook's power adapter. This is the gaming PC's, gaming laptop's power adapter. So keep in mind, this is what you're going to be carrying if you're thinking of carrying these two things around. As I make the comparisons of these two laptops, I want to get out of the way what the purpose is, what different crowds, different groups of people, the different markets these are looking at. So we ask, June, why is this, you know, they have both have 8 gigs of RAM, you know, they have 256 gigabytes of SSD, and they're both Intel chips. Why are they so different? They're both ASUS, man. Why are they different? So let's get one thing out of the way. When you're buying a gaming, a laptop like this, you're looking for performance. This packs a lot of power, has to produce a lot of power compared to something like an Ultrabook where it is light, it is using low voltage part components, and it's trying to keep you know temperatures down so it can it can pack so much in such a small amount of space, right? So two different crowds. One is performance at the compromise of, and you're, comp you're compromising mobility and you're getting heft. Whereas for an Ultrabook, you, you're, you're gaining mobility, great size, great form factor, but you are gonna lose uh, performance, I mean, if you're comparing these two. So right dab in the middle between these two guys, right there, is something that goes between, which are great options as well, such as the Dell 157000 or the Lenovo Y500. As I compare these computers together, I wanted to show you the size difference. As you can see, the gaming laptop is can eat the Ultrabook, I mean, easily. It could probably hide somewhere in this big computer. Look at the size difference. You can see the, just look at the width. It's a really big size difference. I know the display is 13 inch versus 17 inch, but that is a big difference. I mean, it's huge, right? So the gaming laptop, I think weighs more like 10 pounds and this one weighs more like two pounds. So you already have this huge weight difference on it. So as we look at the two things, well, let me bring this back up. You can see here, you got your basic ports and you can see there's uh, several USB ports. You got an SD card slot. The front there isn't really much going on. The back really isn't much going on either, right? There's not even a fan in there. Whereas in the Intel, you're looking at, you got more ports, you're getting a ethernet port as well. 
you're getting the VGA HDMI, you're getting a DVD drive. I mean, the Ultrabook over there has a micro HDMI slot, but it's the micro, so you're gonna need a dongle for that, or a cable that's already converted um, for the other side, and you're getting uh, more USB ports, okay? So what makes them so different? Why does this have to be so big? So, first of all, I mean, even if this was a 15 inch, this is a 15 inch, this is still gonna be much thicker because of these guys right here. These are the uh, fans. There's a fan here for the graphic card. There's a fan here for the Intel chip. This is an i7, second gen i7. And we have a GTX, sorry, an NVIDIA GTX 560M, okay? So one has to cool the CPU as the other cools the GPU. Keep the heat low, right? Whereas this computer here, there is no fan. There's, it just stays cool. Even the, the CPU inside is a low voltage. It's supposed to put out very low temperatures. And it doesn't have a graphic card, so it doesn't need to really... You can't play games on this. You're not expecting to play any... Well, you can play games, but probably at the lowest settings, at the lowest resolution. On the underside, you can see there's a bay here. And if you pop it open like this, you get more, you can do more. So as in this computer, I have the, here I have the SSD uh, as my primary drive. And here I have a secondary drive, which is my spinning hard drive. So I can use this as storage. And here are all my programs. So I got speed and I got storage. So that's one benefit. The other is, I can put up to four memory slots, whereas in the Ultrabook over there, you only get two slots. So if you have, let's say, well, you know, if I have only eight gigabytes RAM sticks lying around, that's maxing out 16 gigs, this is gonna go to 32 gigs. So that's another benefit is you get more uh, memory slots and you get the two hard drive base to use for this computer. So as we conclude this video, I hope I, gave you an informed decision about the differences, you know, in that spectrum of laptops, Ultrabook, gaming laptop. I'm not, also, I'm, you know, I'm not including netbooks or the two-in-ones in this because I think those are very, very low budget computers and I don't think that's a good comparison to put in this laptop. I'm looking at Ultrabooks with um, decent Intel components to gaming laptops. So as we conclude this video, you know, I hope it may, you know, help you, I helped you to be more confident about what decision you want to make for your next purchase. Is it the Ultrabook, the mobile? Pretty much does everything you need to do except gaming or video editing. Or the gaming laptop um, does pretty much anything you want to do when you throw at this guy, but it doesn't fit most bags. It doesn't fit any of the bags I have because it's too big. I mean, so also keep that in mind. It's not gonna fit most bags, so you're probably just gonna have to carry it like this. I mean, which one do you wanna be seen with? This or this? So, I'm um, just kidding. So, I get two hours of battery life with this guy. If I game, one hour. This guy, average, I get about six hours of use. So, you know, these are the things you um, wanna look into. Is it mobility is really your primary focus? or is power using, you know, gaming, um, graphics, you know, you're doing graphics, you're doing some game design, or are you doing any video editing? That's what the gaming uh, laptop is for. Something right below, you know, uh, just a level below the desktop counterparts, right? So that's what you're looking for, and um, I hope, you know, the information I provided today helps you for your next purchase. If you have any comments, uh, want to give me any feedback, please. And just thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you soon.